Hey guys, welcome to Lorley's Plastic Kitchen. I'm Lorley, so come on in. Hey guys, welcome to Lorley's Plastic Kitchen. And today in my kitchen, I'm gonna be making my version of chipotle hummus. It's a little spicy like me and it's great, it tastes great, and it's very smooth. You can also do it at home because it's uh, less expensive, plus you can make as much as you want. So, come on in with me. First, you're gonna be needing one can of garbanzo beans, two garlic cloves, well I say two to three because depending on how big they are, um, that's just you know the size of them. So two to three garlic cloves. I also have one tablespoon of tahini. This is tahini, what it is is it's sesame seeds ground up. One half to one teaspoon of salt plus one fourth teaspoon of cumin. Two tablespoons of olive oil. One teaspoon of water plus one teaspoon of lemon juice. And then right here I have chipotle peppers that are in the adobo sauce. I like to use these. Gives it a great flavor. And I use about one to two of them depending on how hot and spicy you want it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my can of garbanzo beans. Now I left a little bit of liquid in here, a little less than half, because um, it's gonna give the liquid to bind it. You can also use a food processor for this part, but I'm just using my Ninja, the smoothie cup. And I'm gonna dump that right in. Plus I'm gonna add my teaspoon of water and lemon juice as well. And you're just gonna wanna place everything in your bowl or your processor. Now here's my tahini sauce, my one tablespoon. Now if you guys don't have um, tahini, don't worry about it. I've made this without tahini quite a few times and it actually kind of tastes the same. Just gives it a little, little different flavor, but that's about it. Um, it's still great, great for dipping. Now that school is in, what's nice is that you can pack this for your lunches or your husband's um, lunches or wife's. Now for me, I'm probably gonna do two of the peppers or one and a half because it's gonna be spicy. Now once you have all of your ingredients in here, you're just gonna pop your lid on of your processor or your little smoothie maker, take it, so now that I am done blending it or grinding it, see the consistency you want? You want it kind of a smoother texture and consistency. Now. I'm going to taste it to make sure it has enough salt. Now, I always tell you, make sure you taste your food for your salt, your preference, and heat. If you don't like more heat, then just don't put as much chipotle peppers in there. If you want more heat, add more. I mean, it's your recipe, so make it your own. Mm. Yeah. That's good enough for me. <clears throat> it's spicy. Now I'm gonna pour it in here. Once I pour it in here and get it all ready for you, I'll be back. Now guys, see how easy this recipe was? You guys can literally make it in a few minutes and then you'll be done instead of going to the store. But if you already have all these ingredients, I would recommend, highly recommend doing this recipe. Now I'm gonna taste it with my pita chip. guys it's so creamy 
so smooth and all the flavors that run through there. I can't even describe them. They're great. Until next time on Lorley's Classic Kitchen where I'll welcome you into my home. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.